Are you done? <laughs> Sound like you're still whining to me. You gonna listen to the story? You gonna stop whining? You gonna stop screaming? You gonna listen? Cause everybody see you acting a fool. I'm not taking you in back into Walmart until you stop with your mess. We're not going back in the store until you stop with your mess. If we go back in the store, you do it again, we're coming back out and sit down. And I ain't moving until I want to move. And I don't have to move. We don't have to walk around the store with your mom. That's a privilege. See, when you spoil the hell out of your kids, this is what happens. And see, that's our fault for being raised as ghetto kids and never having anything. But see, people don't know how to tell their kids no, even though they were spoiled or not spoiled. I don't care if you was grew up with a silver spoon in your mouth. Don't put one in your child's mouth because this is what happens. And then when you have to be stern and they don't like it because they spoiled, this is what they act like. I'm okay with the kids screaming in Walmart. What I'm not okay with is with them not stopping when I tell them to. So we can be bored out here in this lovely old parking lot until Miss Ari Reese wants to stop screaming her head off. Spoiled kids walk around Walmart with tablets and phones. It's cool if it keeps them occupied, but they can't be watching what they're not supposed to be watching. That's Miss Ari's problem. I'm not raising my kids to be like that. I hope you ain't raising your kid to be like that. You can have all the amenities, but we're not doing that in my household. Don't care. They will listen, and they will be made to listen, or they will get in trouble. I don't beat my kids. My mom beat the hell out of me. I don't do that to my kids. I take stuff from them. I make them sit down. I look at them in their face and tell them, I'm not bothered by it. I'm grown. I'm not. Baby, they just three. They only two. He just 12. He just, he just a kid. So? They don't learn by you teaching them who they're going to learn by. We buy the stuff that they get. We take it away from them when they don't deserve it. You don't throw a fit in Walmart and then you get praise for it. Sometimes you got to deal with your kids screaming in Walmart. And that's okay, but not like that. We ain't doing all that. We ain't doing all that. Are you done? Are you sure you done? Wipe your face like a big girl and get all the stress off your face. Wipe it all off. Get all the stuff off. Because you're a big girl, huh? You a big girl? That's right. You tough? You tough? You gonna suck it up and make it get better? You not gonna get better? You not gonna suck it up? We not going back in Walmart then. You wanna go back in Walmart? Then you have to suck it up. And act like you got some sense. And like you got two parents at home that tell you how to act. You understand me? Do you understand me? You gonna stop? Look what you're doing to your pretty face. You're making it all red and wet and snotty. Yeah, I'd look like that too. Like, uh, I'm still cute, but still. Are you going to stop with your mess? Because if you don't, we're coming back out here, aren't we? Aren't we? I'm going to be sitting on this car. No whooping involved. This is, this is how you get your kid to act right. You sit him on the car, or you sit him next to something that is nothing. No beating, no yelling, no screaming. I might yell at home, I might have to, but I have to. I'm at home, I can do that at home. But I ain't got to do all that. I ain't about to argue with no three-year-old kid, no two-year-old kid, no damn kid. I'm the daddy, I'm grown. <laughs> we about to sit down until you stop back in the food, the child. Mommy gonna be shopping, complaining about whatever she complaining. She ain't complaining, but at the time, I'm gonna deal with no screaming ass kid. My dad always took us to the car if we ain't act right. And sat there and gave us the death stare, like if you say something, I'm gonna whoop you. I just tell my kids, we ain't going back in the store until you stop screaming. They can sit screaming on the car outside in the public. Oh, now you happy? It's parent stuff. You done? You said daddy's high? You sorry? What? You sorry? You say it. Say, daddy, I'm sorry. I'm not going to say it. Hola. So we were having an attitude break. Oh, okay. I'm just getting fresh air because Miss Scream a lot over here didn't want to scream. We have uh, one of those that has needs an attitude. Yeah. We we, we do. We I tell people it's okay. You know. I've been told I needed an attitude. Need an attitude adjustment, ma'am. What? Yeah. How could you need an attitude adjustment? Yeah. You guys stay blessed. Take it easy. She's she almost there. Yeah. Okay. What's wrong? You got pee pee? Well, let's go potty. Come on. Come on. Wee. Wee. That we all happy. Wee. Yeah. Bipolar yeah. children. Yeah. Everybody's bipolar. Every ow. every human being starts ow. off as bipolar. Ow. Ow. You start off as a child. Ow. 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 They don't know what they're doing. Ow. 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 What's wrong with you? We're going potty, y'all. 
But that's how you deal with your screaming. Look, and then she all giggly. Look at this. What did you dance for that? <laughs> you was just screaming like crazy. What those? The balls? Um, yeah, they're bouncy balls. And you leave balls out of your life, okay? Forever. Yes. So. I ain't done with that. Yeah, mommy, mommy probably was worried. We gotta go potty, right? Yeah. Okay, or was that just a lie because you were coming to the store? If you're lying? Mm -hmm. If you're lying, guess what happens when you lie? <laughs> you gotta go potty? Okay, we're going to potty then. <laughs> this activity is <laughs> no longer for your viewing employment. We out. Daddy, we go out. Say bye bye.